What's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you all the one trick that I use to get lower ping in Black Ops 4 multiplayer, as well as Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout game mode. So this will work for both multiplayer and Blackout. It really works for any game, but I'm going to show you guys specifically how QoS or quality of service affects and gives you the best online multiplayer connection for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So this will be a before and after video and I'm gonna show you all exactly how I set up my network to get the best connection for Black Ops 4. So as you all can see, we are in a Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout game mode menu screen, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my display capture for my computer. And as you all can see, we are currently logged into our Netgear switch. This is the device that handles all of my QoS or quality of service uh, traffic control is really what it does. I have a two-in-one router modem gateway from AT&T that is connected through a ethernet cable directly to my switch. And then my switch is connected to all of the devices here in my home. As you can see, we have the PS4, my computer, my Hue lights, and my R7000 Wi-Fi access point. This is what supplies my entire home with Wi-Fi. So yes, my gateway from AT&T does have the wireless disabled. And I've done that because I want my switch to handle all of the traffic for my home network. So pretty much what you need to do is have a router or have a switch that supports QoS or traffic control for your network. Cause this is how you're gonna be able to prioritize your PS4 to always have first priority and get the best connection for online multiplayer in Black Ops 4. So what I've done here is I've just set up the default settings. I have everything set to low priority right now. My computer's set to low. Hue lights, which is all the lighting in my house set to low and my wireless access point for all of my Wi-Fi devices is also set to low. So no special rules are set up here. I'm gonna show you guys how this translates on Black Ops 4. Okay, so we are going to jump into a game real quick. We're gonna deploy. And I'm gonna show you all what the ping looks like in default settings. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simulate some of the normal day-to-day -day things that you will see on your home network that can potentially cause high ping and increased latency while you're playing multiplayer games. Okay, so as you all can see, we have made it into a game of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. What I'm gonna do is come in here to my network settings and show you all the ping graph. This is an estimated latency number to the server that you are playing on. So as you all can see, we are getting roughly 60 millisecond ping to the server. Now what I'm gonna do is show you all some of the things that typically happen on your home network that can cause high ping. And one of the things that I hear a lot from most people is that their connection is fine until somebody starts using the internet or for example, like watching Netflix or YouTube or somebody starts uploading something to Facebook or YouTube or even live streaming. Those are all things that can, that can affect your home network connection and give you worse connection in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 or really any multiplayer game for that matter. So what I'm gonna do now is show you all a simulation of what that looks like using DSL reports stream test. This is going to simulate somebody watching a YouTube video or streaming something on your network while you're playing games. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to crop this out so you all can see in real time what it looks like. So let's say we're playing a game of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and then all of a sudden somebody starts watching a 1080p YouTube video. We're gonna see what happens to our connection. As you all can see, we are starting to get packet loss, which is not very good. That is something that can cause issues with lag and dropping frames and just a lot of really bad things. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that and as you all can see, our packet loss is going to steadily return to normal. Now what we're gonna do is simulate a upload. So for example, let's say somebody starts uploading something to YouTube or somebody starts live streaming. And one thing that you're gonna notice is the more that you start uploading, the higher your ping goes. So we have a 3.2 millis or megabits per second upstream and a 800 kilobit per second upstream. And as you all can see, our ping is going absolutely crazy right now. So we're gonna remove those off and we're going to watch it return back to normal. 
Okay, so as you all can see, we have made it back to our setup screen for our Netgear S8000 switch. And this is where we'll configure our QoS settings on our network to prioritize our PS4 as highest priority. So I'm gonna drop down here on this menu for QoS settings and we're gonna set priority from low to critical, which is the highest priority offered while leaving everything else as low priority. So pretty much what this is going to do is ensure that our gaming traffic always comes first on our home network. This shouldn't negatively affect anybody else on the network considering that games use very little bandwidth. We're talking like 80 kilobits per second on average. The only way it may negatively affect other people on your network is if your PS4 starts randomly downloading a huge game. That might make other people's YouTube videos start to buffer or Netflix start to buffer and things like that because your PS4 will be utilizing the entire um, available bandwidth on your home network and leaving everybody else's low priority probably isn't a good idea. But for day-to-day -day gaming, you shouldn't have a problem with setting your PS4 as top priority on your router for QoS. Now, if you're looking for step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up QoS for your home router, I recommend doing a Google search so you can get step-by-step -step instructions. Most modern routers do offer QoS. On the other side though, if you do have a two-in-one gateway, such as an AT&T or a Verizon Fios, you may want to look into setting up a very similar setup to mine by purchasing a managed switch that offers QoS and then having a separate Wi-Fi access point. So that way you can effectively control all the traffic on your home network. But most routers do have QoS set up, so you shouldn't have a problem. Just do a quick Google search and search for QoS or perhaps look for a PDF user manual for your router that you have. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump over to the PS4 and we're gonna see how this affects our gaming experience. All right, so we've made it back into another game of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. We're essentially gonna simulate the exact same test that we did previously whenever we had QoS disabled on our home network. So we're gonna come in here to our network options and see our base ping is significantly lower at 26 milliseconds. I'm not sure if that's just by luck that we're playing on a better server, but like I said, we're gonna do the exact same test. We're gonna simulate a YouTube video. Let's say Big Brother starts watching YouTube video at 1080p and we will see if it has any effect on our ping or packet loss for blackout multiplayer. And as you all can see, no effect whatsoever. Let's double it up with a 720p video as well. And we will see no effect whatsoever that's also really good let's come in here and let's also start uploading a live stream let's say we're streaming at 3.2 megabits per second upstream still absolutely no effect on our ping um 800 kilobits let's add another one so yeah as you all can see we've had no effect whatsoever negatively to our multiplayer experience, even when we're maxing out our bandwidth through other sources such as a YouTube video or a upstream. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Was this video helpful? Let me know. I will be glad to help out any way I can in the comment section. My best advice is just try to get a router that has QoS because it is definitely worth it. It can definitely uh, improve your online multiplayer gaming experience. But yeah, hope that you guys liked the video and subscribe for more content in the future. Peace.